Hey guys, got another video. Thanks for coming back to watch another one of my videos. Um, this one's kind of cool. So I did a video uh, a couple weeks ago about the Sofiting uh, network tester. And I kind of post things on my LinkedIn here and there for people to see and reach out to me and talk to me and stuff. And that's exactly what happened. Someone, I don't know who, I wish I did so I could say thank you to that person, um, message and tagged me in a post saying, Hey, Jason's lab, why don't you try one of these? I have one of those that was tagged, the older version. I mean, this is maybe four or five years old. Works great. Love it. Um, but this person, Chris, thank you very much for reaching out and talking with me for an hour and a half on the phone. That was a great conversation. Um, said, hey, I want to send you a device because I liked your video and I'd like you to try our newest device, which is the PoE Pro in this box, yes, and I really, really like it, to say the most. He said, I sent you this box and device, you play with it since you kind of know how this one works. It's a bit different because it does have other features, but he sent it to me. I said, that'd be great, awesome. Started, started playing with it and I said, you know, there's a couple things I really wanna try. Can we have a phone call? And we talked and he's like, oh yeah, point this, this and this out. So I did learn a couple things. And I said to him, do you think you could send me the little, uh, what do they call these things? Identifiers. And they did. So the identifiers I'll be talking about also in this video. So again, thank you very much to Chris for reaching out and sending me this awesome device. A couple things I really like about this so far it's very fast. You turn it on, it's ready to go. It is extremely easy to use. By in a sense, that means you don't need a network uh, engineering background to plug this in and say it passed. That to me is a very important thing that there's nothing wrong with learning about a device and having it do multiple things and it doing more things. But if I could take something out of the box, know the product, plug it in and I can get the job done because time is money. We all need to say that time is money these days. To me, that's a bonus. And this device right here meets that. I could push power and it turns on and it's ready to go. I'm going to show you all that stuff. There's a couple things I really, really like about this one also. It is tiny, so it's smaller than the soft hitting one. This isn't a bad product comparing to the softening device. This is just a different product compared to the softening device that I um, that I did a, a video on. The softening is more towards a network technician um, that will do more things. This is more aimed towards the electrician slash someone who just, oh, excuse me, hang up. Someone that just wants to test and move on to the next jack, et cetera, et cetera. This one and this one, I have two, so the old and the new, uh, Old one, new one, they look identical. Except this this one over here, the new one, you can see it's got an extra button and that's for saving. What does that mean? When you connect this device to your mobile phone, and we'll go over that in the next video. To this video, I'm just gonna talk about all the things I'm gonna do and show you a couple other things. I'm gonna show you how and what it does. But you can Bluetooth this to your phone and every time you go around probing the network connection in the house or a cable and stuff like that, you push the save button and it will save it to a PDF. And then your phone will upload it to your cloud account where you can share that with your customer to say, hey, we did all your network jacks and they passed and here's proof. And you have a PDF and you can throw it out there. There's many things you can do within that PDF, which is very, very, very handy. I like it. The next thing I like about this is it does one gig, 2.5 gig, and 10 gig. Woohoo! 10 gig testing at home. And it does PoE up to 90 watts. It does a very, very quick and easy job of doing that too. You plug it in, let it do its thing. It'll show you the class. And it's very handy that Trend Networks put this in to the bag. So I'll show you this. I've got a little piece of paper. I scanned this and I'm going to put it into the video and show you guys this. But when you plug this in, you don't have to go and go, oh, I don't know what class that is or anything like that. It'll actually say what it is and how much power it does. So it shows you all the classes. It's extremely fast. Another thing I really like about it is it turns on real quick, but if you push the power button, 
And say you're doing cabling and you need to test a cable, but you don't have this guy on your end because you don't you don't need to verify it. But you you maybe ran some cables that you know that one or two of them is really long, but you just can't find it. This one right here, if there's an end on it to plug it into this, it will tell you how long the cable is. I just used this last week. Remember the video I just did? I needed to find out a cable that I forgot. Wink, wink. Whoops to put a label on that was for something in the garage that was going all the way down to the house. And I was like, uh-oh. So I said, we'll try this. Put an end on it, 25 cents for the end garbage, but it saved me a lot of time. So I plugged it into this and went, yep, that's it right there. And then I labeled it. That's a very key feature because sometimes you just need to know if the cable is long. And another thing about that I used about that is did I have any shorts? Was there any staple shorts in there? Like sometimes when you use certain staples to put wire into the walls or on joists, sometimes you get a staple in there, it'll tell you if there's a short before the drywall goes up. Key feature to me. So this right here, I've been using a lot. I asked for these. Thank you, Chris. Really appreciate that. Um, because these allow you to go around the business and plug them into the jacks that are already you've already terminated and tested, but maybe you forgot to, wink, wink, whoops, forget to label like I did or have. These have numbers on them, one to 24, so you can map out where all the keystones are. And if you know where the keystones are on the other end, where the network patch is, you can take them out and move them over if they're in order. Make sense? I'll show you all that stuff. It's gonna be in the video. So again, thank you very, very much for Chris for helping me with this. Um, I really like the backlight on these these machines here. So I'll turn it on and show you how what I mean by how fast it is to turn on. But watch this. See if I get my face out of there. Ready. On, Bluetooth, ready to go. Right? If I plug a cable into here, boom. And it's got a nice backlit screen. Does the other one do too? I can't remember. Oh yeah, the, the other one has a bat screen too. So you can see the other one even turns on even faster. But they all, they both look very, very similar. And I really, really like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over to, I move the camera over to my network rack. I scored a 10 gig switch from the office at work so I could show you guys all these connections. I'm going to do all the POEs that each switch does. I've got an older POE switch and then some newer stuff. And my favorite um, ingenious switches that do even more POE power than I'm used to. So I'm going to show you all those. And after that, I'm going to come back around and I'll show how these work. Then the next video, I'm going to show you how we get all those pinpoints that we go around and test into a PDF and onto the phone. I'll even show you how to set up the free unlimited account. There's no charge for this. It's going to be 100% free for any of these devices that they have because that was one of the questions I asked. Is there going to be any fees if I buy a cloud account or get a cloud account? And they said, no, it's all free. So, so you guys know. So I'm gonna do is we're gonna hop on over, do some network testing and go from there. Hold on, oh, and still rocking my two guys tech shirt that I like. Thank you guys. Okay, let's test some cables or some uh, network ports for some PoE. So down here we have our, my favorite uh, edge switch uh, PoE. It's an older gigabit switch. So we're gonna test that, see what it has. doesn't have ears, so I have to hold on to it. So let's turn it on, see what this does. So it shows us. Uh, get rid of the glare for you. Turn it on. Okay. Hopefully this works for you guys. It's doing its test. As you can see, there's a little thing right there. And it goes through all its classes. I'll put a little... Uh, marker over here to show you guys what classes are and stuff like that see if we can get that so it's cl okay there's our class sorry it's hard to get the glare off of there with my hand in there because it's focusing so this port there's 52 volts the class is four and we see down at the bottom it does one gig we can see what pairs it has positive and negative on so the first two pairs one and two and then uh three and then six so there's our first switch. Okay, let's do a different one, something newer. So that's a one gig. That's a one gig test. Let's try the ten gig up here. There's no PoE, 
but it'll tell us what it's connected at. And right there. I'll turn off the light. That'll help a lot better. So right there, we got 10 gig connected to the switch up here. I turned off the light so you guys can actually see this screen here because it was creating some major glare. So hopefully that helps. Okay, so let's go up to my ingenious switch up here. And I'll give you a picture of what the rack looks like after. This is a 2.5 gig switch that is PoE++. And we'll be able to prove that. So we'll plug it into port 4. Okay, it's doing its test. We see the little marker up the top. And see, there we go, 2.5 gig. And here comes our PoE testing. It goes from class 8 all the way down. It's flashing PoE, so it's doing its PoE tests. And what's our final? It goes through all the classes to uh, show you what class it'll stop at after it does all its tests. So 55 volts, class 6, 2.5 gigabit. And it's showing that we have, so I can see this, negative on the pins 1, 2, positive on 3, 4, 5, 6, and negative on 7, 8. So it looks like it uses all the pairs for PoE. Let it be determined on the device it plugs into the other end to tell us what it's capable of. Okay, let's do another one. We'll do the one gig, my other ingenious switch here that's in the middle here. Plug it in, it's PoE capable too. And let's see what it comes up with. One gig, it's going through its classes. Fifty five volts, class four, two pairs, one gig. So it has negative on one, two, positive on three and six. Okay, and we'll test this cable here since we have it in our hand. Let's go like this and plug it into the bottom of the uh, device right here because our tester's in there and it should come up and tell us everything else we want to know about it. It is shielded cable and is passing at 4.5 feet all the way from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and you can see at the very top it's got a check mark up there. That'll help us out for doing testing. So remember how I said in the video that we can check a cable and it'll tell you the length well, now that I've just showed you all the PoE features in there, I'm going to show you this actual feature. But I wanted to also let you know that this does shielding. My other one does shielding too, so I'm going to show you that. I totally miss, like, judge that. So here's my old version. I'm going to turn it on, show you how fast it turns on. Uh, right there. So, on. Ready to go. It says 6.5 feet. We could put a dongle in the end of it, and the dongle will verify all the pairs. And there we go. It's a perfectly working six foot cable. See on the very end over here, it says S, that's for shielded. And the cable also is. Shielding, a really good thing and a lot more common nowadays too. So let's plug it into this one right here. I can actually use a different cable here since we tried it on that one. Let's try here. Mm. We'll try one of my um, super thin cables that I like here. So we'll do the same thing. Take this out. We'll turn it on. Okay, it's on. We'll plug in my cable tester or a cable to the end. What does it say? 19 feet. As you can see there, probably some glare, sorry. Eh, let's go. How do I turn on the screen? Nope, network. There we go. Turn on the screen, so now we see it is 19 feet. 
This one isn't a shielded cable, so we won't see the S. So we'll plug this module in. And of course, we're gonna get a pass because I've been using the cable, I already know that, but there we go. One of the other features I really like about this thing, shielding, and it tests it. So there's my quick little video. The next video is gonna be about me showing you how to create the PDF and using all these identifiers. I keep forgetting the name of them. We're gonna use these. Actually, I'll show what they look like too. Hold on, let's see if we can open it. I haven't even opened the box myself because I've seen them online and I've used them before. Not my own, but yeah. Well, that's kind of cool. Comes out like a little clip, All right? We got 24 of them. So on each end of them, we have numbers. Might not be able to see that. Yep, yeah, we can. One, two, six. That's kind of cool how they have a little clip. It's like an ethernet jack that they clip into. That's kind of cool. Okay, I'm sure I'll lose these, hopefully not. But I'll keep that in the box. We're gonna go over that in the next video. I'm gonna walk around the house or I might be able to see if I can do an on-site for that. And I'm also gonna show you how to create a PDF with this, create your account and then upload them to the portal. So stay tuned for the next video. If you have any questions or you want me to answer, after the end of this video, put the comments down below. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Please, it's helping me out. Uh, and we'll go from there. So you guys have a great day. I'm gonna go um, play with this device some more and I'll go from there. See you later. Oh, and thank you very much, Chris. Awesome. I think we're gonna do some more products. Wink, wink.